Hey guys and welcome to this quick microphone comparison. I'm going to compare a bunch of really cool microphones. Three dynamic microphones, two condensers and two ribbon microphones. Just to give you an idea of how you can sound with different types of microphones. And then in the end of the video I'll let you know which one is my favorite. Some of these are classics like the Shure SM57, the Bayer Dynamic M160 and the Neumann TLM193. I didn't have a real Roy 121 ribbon but I do have almost the same thing called the TSM MT84. Basically it's a copy of the Royer and it sounds a bit like it. Aside from all those classics I'm also going to use an EHRE microphone from a company in Sweden called Erlund that has been getting a lot of praise lately so I'm excited to try them all out and how they fare compared to each other. Also a big thank you to Frederick of Meshuga for lending me these microphones for the purpose of this test. So it's a very simple test. I'm using a looped DI track that I recorded in Logic Pro X. I'm reamping that DI using my Randall Satan through a Hesu 2x12 cabinet with a vintage 30 Celestian speakers. If you have no idea what reamping is and you want to find out more about it, I have a reamping 101 video you should check out. Link in the description. I decided not to have any other variables in this test for the sake of keeping it interesting. I could have changed the amp and the cabinet, but then this test would be hours long and just, I mean, it would just be awkward. So uh, I'm gonna go with this combo right here. Uh, new for this time is that I'm reamping everything using a new audio interface called the Centaur from Antelope. It has dedicated reamp outputs at the front that I'm hooking up straight into the amplifier. So I'm placing every microphone just a bit outside the center of the speaker cap. This is a great all around placement where you necessarily don't have to EQ that much afterwards. And it doesn't kill your ears when listening to the uh, raw tracks. And I've also set up the amp so it sounds great in the room. So there shouldn't be any spikes when listening to the tracks. And of course I'm not using any EQ or anything like that. These are 100% raw files we're listening to. Alright, let's give them a try and let's listen to my generic riffing. And this is Logic Pro X and here are my files. We have the DI track up here. We have the dynamic microphone reamps here. The condenser microphones here and the ribbon microphones here. And uh, for your pleasure, I put some really nice colors to all these tracks. I really like the diarrhea colored DI track. So uh, let's uh, just start off by uh, listening to all the tracks and uh, we'll just solo them one by one. Let's start with the dynamic microphones and the SM57. <laughs> Classic SM57 has a great high end sizzle going on that I really like. So let's listen to the SM58. Definitely less scooped than the SM57 and just a better all around sound, I think. So let's listen to the Sennheiser E906. Has a different type of dynamic character than the SM57 and the F58. Definitely a good alternative when you're just not getting a good sound with the good old SM57. So let's move over to the condenser microphones and we're starting with the Neumann TLM193. This is a lot darker than the dynamic microphones. This was, uh, this was actually the microphone that was used for Meshuggah's Chaosphere rhythm guitars and uh, has a great low end. Okay, next up is the Erland EHRE. -E. 
very open sounding microphone that definitely differs a lot from the others. Okay, switch to the TSM Royer copy, copy MT84 is the name of this microphone. Also has the great low end like the Neumann TLM. Maybe a little flat in the mids. All right. Last but not least, the Bayer Dynamic M160 ribbon microphone. Very balanced mix of everything here. The high end is even and very well balanced. Definitely not annoying at all to listen to. To me, they all sound good in their, their own way. I mean, I like that with the Neumann, the M160 and the TSM microphone. It's basically just uh, plug and play. Uh, you just put them up against the speaker and they sound awesome in almost any position. For that, they are awesome. They pretty much replicate the sound you have in the room when you're sitting in front of the amplifier. However, I mean, that might not be the character you're after to use in a mix. I mean, for guitars to cut through a bit better, they need something piercing. And uh, that's why the classic SM57 always works for guitar cabs. I mean, on its own, it might not sound impressive, but as soon as you put it in a mix, it just makes a lot of sense. All three dynamic microphones in this test are definitely brighter and have less bass than the condensers and the ribbons. In general, I would probably also spend a lot more time when placing a dynamic microphone on a speaker. An interesting side note is when I'm listening to the SM57 and the SM58 microphones, what strikes me is how much different they are from each other, even if they share the same design. The only difference between them is basically just the grill. And uh, However, I mean the SM57 is a bit more scoop than my SM58. I mean, it just goes to show that even with the same, within the same models of microphones, sound varies a lot. So your SM57 might not even sound like the one I'm using. The one microphone that I think stands out in this bunch is definitely the Erlund microphone. It's almost like when you listen to the other microphones that you have like an airplane ear and uh, then you switch to the Erlund and uh, that airplane ear pops and everything opens up. Really impressed with how that microphone sounded. It really responds well to different spikes in the amp, so if you have a really sharp sounding amplifier, it will handle it well. And uh, if I would use this microphone, I would probably set up the amp in a different way uh, since the microphone responds so much more different than the other microphones. So which do I think is the best one for recording metal guitar? Well, the best would most probably be a combination of a dynamic microphone and a condenser or a ribbon. But uh, if I just have to choose one microphone in this test that I will use in a mix, I would choose the SM58. And uh, I mean, it has everything that I would want in a guitar sound. It has the high-end sizzle that I like in a mix, but it's still with a full body and that good low-end response. Also a plus is that the Shure SM58 and SM57, there are the least expensive microphones in this test, so that's of course a good thing. And uh, if I were to choose a runner-up, I would probably go with the Bayer Dynamic M160. It's just a, such a well-balanced microphone. I can definitely hear it sitting really well in a mix. And uh, the wild card of this test would most definitely be the Erlen microphone. And uh, it's just so much different sounding than the others. It would be an excellent alternative to pair with a condenser microphone. Maybe even use it for a room microphone. But as a summary, I think all of these microphones sound great for metal. And by combining a couple of them, you definitely have a lot of variations to choose from. But it also shows that an expensive microphone is not always going to be the best sounding alternative. At least not for recording metal guitars.
So what do you guys think? Which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thank you for watching my video. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to interact with me, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. See ya!